Hey, good morning, Chris. Look at all the hardware on the patio because I took down those 12 rented G panels yesterday and just let the hardware fall to the deck. <laughs> yeah, I got some picking up to do. But, dun dun dun! Got the panels up. And it's really early in the morning. I wanted to shoot a video, uh, get this out here for everybody to see before it gets too late in the day and all that. But yesterday was a long day of taking panels down and moving them over here. A couple trips to the store for more bolts and hardware. And but I got them up and it went perfectly. This super strut is really really good and the clamps that I used uh, were even better. And I'll show you. It takes a little finagling to get this to get these just perfect but they go in one way and they stay in one way. But these are the tractor supply bolts and hardened washers. See how they lock in there? Butamus, 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 butamus. But I can tell you right now, I really cranked on them too. They're not going anywhere. But the problem is that I didn't get the end clamps here. So I just got picked up some cheapo um, C clamps here. Carpenters, I don't like these at all. So, but I think this is an inch and on 1.4 inches or 35.5 millimeters. So you have to get the right one to use the super strut hold down. I mean, it's it's pretty solid right now, but uh, definitely need the uh, end clamps on there. You can see right as the sun is coming up, right in that corner right there. It's just starting to hit the panels. Loving it. Loving it. Let's, look, let's go underneath here. I'll show you. A lot of this is just temporary wiring with some uh, black tie straps just to hold the wiring up a little bit. I'm going to go over here. I'll show you uh, a little bit more with the wiring. And these are 100 watt panels, 12 of them wired in series, series, parallel, and do cable. And I had plenty of cable. Kind of a small backyard anyway, so. Let's get on here. Now, I just have the cable laying on the deck right now, tie strapped right there and ran just there and up to the um, access point there and I'll figure something else out to get this straightened up here see here, I just got the clamp boy that super strut is nice Nice, nice, nice. Let me get underneath here. See how I got the wiring? Real good. Real good. Pretty happy with it. It's a pretty large structure for 100 waters. And that paint is setting up nice, too. Real good. Nice. Let's go over here to the the other array. Let me show you something. Ah, I just woke up, so first things first. And I fixed, essentially I used the wiring that was on this array and moved to the, to the new one over there. I didn't have, 
enough cable, so I had to make my own PV cable and wire it in here. This is actually 12 gauge. I'm going to replace this with 10 gauge just because I'm, I like, 12, 12 would be fine, but I'd rather have 10. Let's go over here. Yeah, those need to be cleaned too. Oh yeah, I want to tell you, um, palm olive dish soap and hot bucket of water and just used a big automotive sponge scrub those down and then hose them off and it took me five minutes that's what I love about the ground mount is that you can clean them very very easily anyway <clears throat> so I re-ran re -ran the line instead of going outside and I just went and down there there and everything's right there but I spliced let me see if I got a video that's that's one connection there the other connection is over here yeah here's my splice job right here and it was a and it was a pretty good splice job honestly it's and I used the uh, like a butt connection but it's not butt connection it's actually pushing the wires together squeezing them and then soldering them then I electrical taped over it heat shrinked and then electrical tape uh, I don't like those type of connections but I didn't I didn't have any proper fitting MC4 ends so I just cut the wire and did it that way it'll be fine but I'd rather have a a uh, either a good MC4 connection high quality or just replace it with 12 gauge or I'm ten, I mean 10 10 odd 10 gauge cable PV a little bit stronger and double, double wall thickness but yeah in this wire right here is not long enough so I need to get a few more links too but everything's up I mean so I got 18 this is one array now which is 1800 watts and then this array here is 1300 watts and I'm going to move the 1300 over to here and I'll take those two some of those railings down because I'd finished all this pergola top um, last fall and now I want to take and take all these 2x6's down because I don't it's too much weight and then refinish the rest of this this spring. You know, clean up everything, make it look pretty. I might do something with this area here. I don't know quite yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, there you have it. Hey, thanks for watching. Yesterday was a busy, busy day, but you just you know work through it and lots of coffee. <laughs> And lots of heart and motivation, I guess, to do something like this. But it's definitely a one-off system. Um, and we'll see how the power goes today. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about the long video, and have a good Sunday. Later.